please mute the microphones, folks. Uh, MMTs, once again, we're taking a look at what? The famous $1,200 put on the index called the S&P 500. And when they, we had a big sell-off back in August, and they made their highs over here on 8-8 a month ago. They had made their highs up here at $105 a contract. Then they were inflated and they pulled back MMTs over in here. Uh, that was that first low at $34. Then we popped right back up here to $89 a contract MMTs. Because at the time that these contracts were falling back in value here, we hit a low over here MMT on 831. And today's date? 92 of 2011 and what was nice about that wholesale entry at 1690 is is that when the daily S&P 500 chart had its big reversal here is the daily chart of the S&P 500 there is the diamond gap down this is that daily we close right here on that uh, teeny line because we did all right and this is that complete bottom that we had talked about a W bottom but the thing about it is we came right over here in last week's training and our analysis on the S&P it's on stock market funding that that upper end would be 12 29.89 and it was and you came right up there you couldn't get above it it started to reverse and you've had September 1 and 2 gapping down to this teeny line right here and that this bottom that was originally put in with that upside volatility in that test and making that higher high is coming right back in there. So we have a particular half delta breakout to that high and then we have a half delta retracement here. And on Saturday we're going to talk about how to weight the S&P 500 moving into Tuesday of next week and for the remaining calendar of the September month. And once again, you can clearly see that we rallied down here right up to the 1220 mark during Saturday and Sunday training. We're going to wait this particular calendar year's bottom. We are going from this holiday wonderful weekend to a new trade management in September and September leads to the October earnings that will be coming up with the economic data today such as the jobs reports it didn't add any and the ISN number yesterday well when you really look into the number and if we do contract below 50 then all they're gonna say is hey guess what there's a contraction in there well if that we already know what the case is that the earnings are not going to be as strong as the 2010 and part of 2011 earnings structure going into October. There will be a weighted management in here because these lows are at extreme risk of being taken out. I didn't say that they were going to get taken out yet because starting Tuesday we're going to find out where the weighting of this whole bottom is and we will know that if we're going to break that low then there's a lot of downside left on the S&P 500 and we will get into the weekly charts we rolled up off of that bottom to that area right here and we have a double reversal starting out September of 2011 with Labor Day weekend here and everyone will have to deal with this picture on Tuesday MMTs will be taught how to wait this whole bottom right here and how September will trade and how the earnings season will kick off. Welcome to the index analysis of the S&P 500 stockmarketfunding.com